This Parkinson's patient was barely able to walk for several years. Now take a look at the same man a few months later. He's had an electrical implant fitted to the back of his spine. Walking involves a brain sending instructions to the legs. Researchers believe that Parkinson's disease reduces the signals coming back, causing the patient to freeze. The implant boosts that signal, enabling the patient to walk. Looks like they're having a little bit of a picnic. Gail Jardine had the implant fitted yeah. a few months ago. This is the first time okay. she's walked with her husband Stan for more than two years. Because she would freeze, she had frequent falls. Researchers monitor her progress using sensors on her suit and socks. I um, can walk better. I have more confidence and um, overall health, it feels better. I used to fall at least two, two times a day sometimes, but now I haven't fallen in over two months. How do you feel? It's Good. easier? The researchers here have been astonished at her progress. When I first met her, she had a lot of freezing, was much more off balance. I think it's been a huge improvement and it's just been two months. I hope to see more improvement. Uh, but what I'm seeing right now, I'm, I'm quite satisfied with. These scans show how the treatment has altered the brains of patients. This one is before the electrical treatment. These areas control movement and they're red because they aren't working properly. Three months later and the red areas have gone and the patient's walking has improved dramatically. Fifteen patients have taken part in this pilot trial. So how well has it gone so far? Beyond our wildest dreams to be able to perform something like this in patients that are so advanced. Most of these patients have had disease for 15 years and have not walked for several years uh, with any confidence at all. So to be able to make a difference in their quality of life almost up to three years in some patients uh, has been remarkable. Gail is confident that her improvement will continue and that she'll be able to go out to the countryside with Stan more often. We're lucky a duck might come by. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, London, Ontario.